My name is Dr. Mara Mulrooney, and I'm the assistant anthropologist here at Bishop Museum. My role for the Pacific Hall renovation was as part of the content team. So my job was to write some of the scripts for the narrative that we present in the hall. So it was actually my predecessors and our emeritus anthropologist, Dr. Yoshi Sonoto, who really contributed greatly to the content of the hall. So I picked up where they left off. And the interesting thing about Pacific Hall is that for the first time, archeology span really takes center stage on the second floor. And we teach visitors about the methods that archeologists use in order to learn about the past. So the popular narrative about, that's told about Rapa Nui or Easter Island is that the society, quote, self-destructed by cutting down all of their trees and losing sight of what they were doing to their environment. What our recent research has shown is that by cutting down all of those trees, they actually made their environment more productive because they were able to plant economic crops like taro and sweet potato to support the cheaply economy and the statue building industry. On Rapa Nui, the most common artifact type that we find are these, which are called mata'a. These mata'a were sort of an everyday tool that was used pr primarily for cutting things like wood and plant material. Now what recent archeological research has suggested is that these tools were agricultural tools. Um, and what archeologists have found along the cutting edge of these tools are actually remains of the plants that people were cutting. And what they found, of course, is taro and sweet potato, which were the mainstay of the agricultural economy. In terms of the population collapse, the real cause was the arrival of Europeans. Europeans arrived on ships carrying diseases that the local community did not have immunity to. And that's what actually decimated the population on Rapa Nui. The renovation of Pacific Hall has really enabled us to update the story that we share with visitors to the museum. And archeology, span of course, plays a central role in that story. And what's really neat about the renovation of the hall is that we've been able to incorporate the results of the most up-to-date research that's happening across the Pacific in order to make sure that what we're teaching our visitors is actually accurate and up-to-date. What's really wonderful about working at Bishop Museum is working with that archeological legacy. This is the sort of premier institution, if you will, for Pacific archeology. span And we have a huge collection of artifacts that were collected throughout the Pacific and we're carrying out new research across the Pacific as well. And so what we've been able to do with Pacific Hall is to bring out some of those collections and really share with the world our knowledge base that's been collected by Bishop Museum.